So literally every single day, lately my comment section is like, girl, where are the workout videos at? Where are the meal prep videos at? Live workout footage, fitness updates, where are they at? Where are you at? Are you even here? <laughs> Uh, I am here. Clearly, I've just been doing like a lot of vlogs lately. Christian and I are in a season of moving. We just applied for a new home. All the prayers and uh, positive vibes out there. So I've just been having so much fun filming other things lately. But I know um, the basis of my channel when I really started, it was beauty and fashion and then so much fitness and meal prep. And I know a lot of you are here for that. And my channel is here to serve you guys on what you want to see, as well as document stuff that's like really fun for me. But I know a lot of you want to see meal prep and fitness videos. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you guys some breakfast, lunch, and dinner options that I make consistently when I am on my health and fitness grind. A lot of you wanted like a little update on my personal progress um to be like super honest oh what was that over a uh, summer i wasn't doing too great i wasn't eating horrible but i was eating out a lot um so i wasn't exactly like feeling my best um i maintained my weight i did not lose any weight really over summer um and you know just have been feeling a little sluggish not the best not the worst i've ever felt but not the best so i'm definitely in a season right now mentally and physically where i feel good enough to start meal prepping again and really trying to lean down a bit more to where my body feels extremely comfortable um for those who care i weighed in today at 168. a lot of you always ask but like numbers can look so different on different body types so i never take that as a full like this is what it is. Like I never measure my progress by that. Um, I would still like to get down to around like 155 for my height it has always been like my goal weight. Um, and I know my body when I do meal prep and I am consistent, that is when I drop weight. So for those of you who ask all the time as well, um, how I actually measure my progress is through the body analyzer scale. Um, that's just what I've had for like the past three years. And I started my fitness journey on that. Um, so I like to use the same product every time I weigh myself so that I know the numbers are consistent and nothing is like varying. Um, I've talked about it in tons of videos. I know a lot of you have bought it. Um, it's incredible. It is the only extremely detailed and like statistical scale you can buy at home that gives you um, body mass index. It gives you um, lean muscle mass, water retention. Um, so it's really, really cool. You can actually track your progress a lot more detailed. Um, it's like the most accurate thing you can have um, for a health and fitness journey, whether you want to lean down or you do want to gain muscle or gain mass. Um, I've actually had two of them. I told you guys in my last video when we moved, Christian for some reason was taking a bath and the scale went in the bath and uh, completely broke. So I got another one. Um, I wanted to let you guys know though because they are offering a 60% discount for my subscribers for this holiday time. Um, that's like the highest discount they've ever done and a lot of you always DM me that you wanna pick up the scale. So if you wanna ask for it for Christmas or buy it for like friends and family, um, right now would be the best time because I know it is at the cheapest cost. Uh, it's something I can vouch for a million percent. I've used it, like I said, probably like over two and a half years. And you can actually uh, program multiple people on there as well. If you live with like your boyfriend, girlfriend, roommates, anything like that, it's literally the one product that you need to buy. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching. As always, it means a lot to me. I would love to have you subscribe, thumbs up, follow me over on Instagram if you wanna see like workouts, daily meals, um, young entrepreneur business content. I just have a lot of good stuff over there, you know? Make sure you're subscribed here to this channel. Um, and yeah, I just got home from Albertsons a little while ago and I was like putting away the groceries, so I figured perfect time to meal prep. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. All right, so before we get into the breakfast meal prep, I figured I would just show you guys my full daily routine for when I am being very disciplined with myself here in my weight loss journey. Every morning, I'd be sure to be very, very consistent on my Opti Greens. This is perfect for someone who's on the go. You maybe don't have time all day to really get in your full serving of fruits and vegetables. This is all you need is one scoop in the morning, an additional scoop at night if you would like. This is an incredible greens powder. It's super high quality, included in one scoop. You're actually getting protein, a full green superfood complex, a glycemic balance blend, um, organic beet juice, raspberry, a plant enzyme blend, B12, a probiotic, a multivitamin complex. Like everything is in put into this powder within the ingredients. It's absolutely incredible. It does not taste disgusting. You can mix it into a smoothie or just mix it with water. Um, I want to give you guys a full preview here of the ingredients so I make sure to have that every morning um, obviously I'll have everything I'm mentioning here linked down below but what I wanted to show you guys today for breakfast prep was chocolate protein oats I think I've made overnight oats here on my channel before but I've never uh, made them this way with chocolate and I actually did want to add a few chocolate chips on top But it looks like I ran out um, But first off I just start with some old-fashioned rolled oats These ones are pretty big and pretty thick so when they expand I find that they taste the best I just do one cup in each mason jar and I was trying to find my smaller mason jars for this video, but 
of course, nowhere to be found. So I'm only going to fill these ones up about halfway because these mason jars are huge. Um, so I'm using the 30 calorie almond breeze milk. It is plant based. Of course, you can use your preference, cashew milk, soy milk, whole milk, whatever is best for you guys. You just want to make sure to coat the oats enough just so that um, all the nutrients can really seep into the milk after because we're going to leave them in the fridge. So next up, I'm pumped to be using this product in a video. Finally, it is the new Vegan Power Pro from First Form. You guys know um, I have used their products and their protein forever. It's incredible, but they finally came out with a vegan version, chocolate, vanilla, and milk chocolate. Um, so in this protein, if you are curious, it is plant-based. I know a lot of you have asked me about that. It does come with a full amino acid profile and it's gluten-free. In every scoop, you have 19 to 21 grams of protein, depending what flavor you choose. Um, and their protein is not only able to be used in smoothies, but it's also meant to be a baking protein. It rises really well for like waffles or recipes and stuff. Um, and it's actually very thick. So if you buy one tub, it can last you two months because you really only need like half a scoop. Um, so as you can see here for the overnight oats, I'm only doing half a scoop of chocolate in each one. Otherwise, I find that it's just way too much. Um, so I'm, also, you do want to sweeten up your oats a bit. You could use pancake syrup or honey. For this option, I chose to just do a little bit of the Walden Farms pancake syrup because it has no calories, but yet it tastes really good. Um, I know it is artificially processed though, and it's probably not the healthiest, but that's just what I'm doing. And I'm only making two just because I do live by myself. I don't want anything to go bad, um, but I was just chopping up and putting some bananas on top. You can also mix in chia seeds, tons of different fruit, whatever you like. I was just kind of showing you here when you mix up everything, it tastes incredible, super easy, and we're done. Like that's it. You just got to put them in the refrigerator and by the next morning, you're good to go. All right, so moving on to lunch or dinner prep. Um, I say that because you can obviously use these meals for whatever time of day fits your family best. I have tons of meal prep videos on my channel, you guys. I have a lot of plant-based and um, vegan options if that's what you're interested in, but I do have a little bit of salmon and chicken here and there in my diet nowadays, especially with my son as well. So I wanted to give you guys a little alternative today. I was just doing some Atlantic salmon here and then I just did some garlic seasoning that I got at Albertsons. Then on the side, I was doing maybe four or five cups of Brussels sprouts. I like to just cut them in half. And then I actually like to spray them and put this seasoning on there. It's called Everything But The Bagel. This is incredible. It's from Trader Joe's. I also like to put some balsamic dressing. And then I go ahead and put the oven at 350 and I just cook those both on the same pan just to save time, especially because we're gonna eat those together in the meal later anyways. Um, and then I do, was ended up doing some sides of veggies. I was doing zucchini and a little bit of squash here maybe like two cups total. Um, but I also had asparagus on the side. I had those Brussels sprouts. You could really do anything. You could do like a bean mix, some lentils, um, any vegetable that your family likes. I know it's kind of hard with Christian as well um, to like really fit greens into his diet. That's kind of why I use that greens powder at the beginning of the video. I'll mix that into his smoothies to give him a full serving of fruits and veggies as well because sometimes it's really hard to get him to eat veggies. But for these, I just put them in a little Tupperware and then I went ahead and added some of the very teriyaki sauce. I got this at Albertsons, it's incredible. I usually put it in a bag or something and then I'll just shake it up just to make sure it all marinates really well. Um, but I was just using the Tupperware for today, kind of just making sure that everything was even on the pan so both sides of the veggies cook all the way through at the same time. And then we're just gonna put this in the oven right underneath the other rack just so we don't have to cook everything twice. I feel like this meal prep is like super quick as well. All you really need is like an hour or an hour and a half and you're pretty much good to go. Um, so aside from the salmon, I am gonna make one dish with chicken. So I just wash my hands, of course, wash the chicken and then put this over medium heat. Also, don't mind the pan. A lot of you like to come for me. That pan got burned like a long time ago. I do clean it, of course, but it's just like stained on that side and that's okay. We all know I'm moving, so I'll probably get a new pan soon. Um, I was just putting lemon pepper seasoning and some of that everything but the bagel and then I like to like mash the chicken down just to make sure that it's even and it's flat. So like when I flip it right here, um, each side has a completely even amount of time to cook. Um, again, you don't have to use chicken here. Sometimes I use like beefless crumbles. I do still have a good portion of my diet which is plant-based, um, but I do have a little bit of meat in there. Um, not much dairy as you saw at the beginning. I do have like plant-based milk, but yeah, I wanted to just include that. So once it's flipped over, you wanna make sure that you season the other side, of course, and the chicken only takes like 10 minutes. And then I always just like to cut it into really small pieces. If you're on like a prep or a more serious diet, you can like weigh out four or five ounces per meal prep. Um, but you'll see here what I do in a minute. I believe I use about a cup. 
Um, for another veggie on the side, I was just grilling up some asparagus. I'm using the same seasoning over low heat. And then yeah, you can see here, I'm using one cup of the chicken in each meal prep container. So I'm pretty much just portioning that out, especially when I am trying to be a little bit stricter on my fitness. I do like to measure things out. Then here, the salmon and Brussels were done in about 20 minutes. They look so good. Just looking at this footage, I want to go downstairs and make one of these meals right now. They smelled so amazing. I'm doing like five ounces of salmon in each meal prep, plus about three quarters cup of the Brussels sprouts. I also ended up mixing in a little bit of the asparagus. Um, as you guys can see, I was making five meals. Again, just because I'm only cooking for myself, you can double, triple these meals. You could even freeze some of them. Um, and then for my carbohydrate side, I was using the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. Sometimes I'll do the rice cooker, but this is actually just a lot quicker. And I actually really like the taste of this. So what I did is I portioned out half a cup of rice for each meal prep. And I just put the rice in there without having cooked it because all you have to do is microwave it. So there's no reason to do it twice. So I just put each portion in there and then mixed everything together so it would be kind of like a chicken veggie mash. And then when you're ready to eat it, you can microwave it or you can throw that on a pan and you're good to go. Um, also with every single meal prep, I did include a full vitamin pack for the day. This has a multivitamin, a probiotic, a B12, um, a digestive enzyme. The micro factor packs are awesome because it's just one packet you have to take every day and it's just super, super easy. So I kind of set that along with my Tupperwares. Um, hey, Christian. <laughs> so I know, so I remind myself to take it every day. And that's it, you guys. Super easy, one hour, and we're done.